www.wordpressmaster.com. This is going to be a course on WordPress. This lesson we're going to look at how to create a WordPress blog. Um, so WordPress is a blogging platform that is available for free um, both on wordpress.com if you're going to host it through the WordPress website or on your own domain if you uh, set that up on your own. And uh, that means that you can use it um, to create your own blogs that people can read. Um, and you can also use it to make a web uh, site instead of a blog if you want. Um, and we'll show you how to do all that in this um, course. Right now, uh, we'll just kind of get a quick look at what a WordPress blog actually looks like. This is WordPress.com. And uh, this is where uh, a lot of blogs are hosted just directly on uh, through their host, through their domain. Um, and this is a couple of examples of, uh, of different blogs. Let's click on one of these and um, view it. So this is um, a blog, it looks like it's about food. Um, and this is uh, all created through the WordPress software. Um, for this one, you can see that um, they've got a, a sort of header information, some information about the author, um, the main post title and information about when it was posted and then the actual article. Um, which they entered in themselves. Um, and then this information here uh, on the side is uh, a calendar of, of their posting, lists of recent posts, um, and all this was kind of done automatically by WordPress. It wasn't, uh, they didn't have to hand code any of this. What they hand coded was probably just they typed in this information and added the image. Um, and then down here we have uh, just a lot of different responses from different users. So um, one of the interesting things about WordPress is the ability to have interaction with your users who comment on your page. This one has a lot of comments, which makes sense because it's featured on the WordPress homepage. And then if I wanted to, I could uh, register as a user, or uh, this may not even require me to register as a user, and type a reply if I'm interested in contributing to the conversation. So that is uh, an example of a WordPress blog. Um, just to give you an idea of the versatility, let's click on another one. And you can see that this is uh, using the same software, also hosted on WordPress.com, looks completely different. Um, we have the title up here, and uh, they also have chosen to put uh, a little bit of uh, a picture and a little bio about them. Um, we have links to pages. Um, they have Twitter updates, uh, as well as recent posts and they have a category cloud. So they've uh, labeled their different posts with different categories. And then this, uh, this WordPress widget uh, on the side that they've uh, installed automatically makes things that they post about more larger. So this person posts more about politics than they do about art. Um, and you can see they've put an image here and then uh, the text that they've written shows up right here. And we also have uh, comments, a lot of comments from users, and the ability to add our own comments as well. So this is all um, as hosted on WordPress.com. Um, if, if you uh, go back to this blog very quickly, you can see this bar up here on the top. This will be common to all blogs that are hosted on WordPress.com. Um, since I'm logged in, I have a little My Account information. Um, and I can, uh, for example, subscribe to this blog, and there's a couple other functions. Um, but the domain is actually, I'll move this down so you can see, this may be too small to read, um, Wendy Carrillo, Carrillo at wordpress.com is the actual domain of the main part of the website, if I go directly there. Um, so it doesn't look quite as professional as um, if you were to put this on your own domain. Um, now for your own domain, you're going to use WordPress.org, um, which is uh, the same software actually, but this is one that you're going to install on your own server. We talk about how to do that in a later lesson, and you'll download it right here. Um, but you can view a couple of different uh, blogs that are uh, using the WordPress.org software, and they've installed it on their own server. I'll move this down again so you can see this is just directly on the domain rideoregonride.com and it looks a lot more professional. They've also spent a lot more time on this theme. This is probably a custom built theme, um, but it's also using the WordPress software, uh, the same core WordPress software. So this is uh, sort of a title, 
and these are the links. They've been heavily stylized, they're in a different place. And you have a lot of other links down here um, and uh, a list of um, upcoming events. Um, now, if we were to click on one of these, we can see that this is less of a blog-based website and more of a, a page-based website um, because these are things that are not gonna be changing as much. And that just took me off, off the site onto a new page. Um, but then something like this events page that they have is utilizing a WordPress widget that creates a calendar. Um, and you have uh, here different articles, and this is more like the blog that are available. Um, each one of these is probably created uh, uh, on, a, on a basis, maybe monthly or weekly. Um, and this is more of where the blog is, but it's sort of hidden in underneath other things in the homepage. So that's the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. So to begin with, you don't necessarily need to go to WordPress.org and install WordPress on your server, um, although that is not actually very difficult to do if you've got hosting and a domain set up already. Um, you, it looks more professional, but you may want to instead start with just WordPress.com blog um, because it's much simpler to set up. And then uh, as you develop it and get used to it, learn how to use WordPress, then you can uh, back it up and restore it to the blog that you install on your own domain. So let's show you how to just really uh, quickly set up a blog. I'm going to log out of this account and uh, you see the sign up now button. We're gonna uh, go through the sign up process to create a WordPress account. Um, and then you'll be able to log in and uh, do whatever you need to, on uh, whatever you'd like to on your blog. So let's call us educator three. We're gonna use the username educator three. We're gonna give it a silly password because I'm gonna delete this in a bit. and you have to set up an email address. You can see I've already been going through on this page. All right, now I'm gonna go over to this account and we just got the email that quickly. That wasn't set up ahead of time, that's how quick it actually was. And I'm going to click on this link, let it load, and my account is now active. So let's log in. So this is WordPress.com, and I'm going to type Educator3. I want it to remember me, and log in. And I have now logged in to my blog. Chrome has asked me if I'd like to save. I will save. So this is the login area. This is the administrative area of your blog. Um, and this is on uh, wordpress.com. Now, if you wanna actually see what it looks like, you can um, click on this link here. And it gives you just a default template with a default post. So compare this to the ones you saw before. It's not as pretty, it needs a lot of work, but you can see the same sort of elements. There's a title, there's a, a, a post, and a uh, bit of information uh, that they typed in for the post content. There's uh, links to various things, including an ar uh, archives of older posts, of which there are none at this point, just, the, just this one that's right here. So this is all the ones published in November 2010. Um, categories, which right now they're just uncategorized, and then recent posts and a search. So all that is just by default. You also have a home page, which right now is set to list all the blog posts, and then an about page, which is different than a post, and we'll talk about that in a later example, a later lesson. This about page is just a static page, um, and you have the ability to uh, leave a reply here. If we go back to this home page, actually let's go uh, log in to, uh, to WordPress. Um, all right, here we are. Go to the 
dashboard. So this is where you will be when you first log in. Um, if you want to add a new post, click on this post area and add new. And this is where you publish. So this is the title, the content, and publish. And now you can see this new post. So go to the home page, and now we have uh, two posts, both of which are visible. Um, and this is the blog. And if we want to actually go down into viewing just the particular post, you can do that as well. And that's where we have comments and the ability to leave a reply. Um, other things you can do um, are, let's go back. Other things you can do are change themes, which would be underneath um, appearance. There's a couple of themes available here on the wordpress.com, uh, just already pre-installed. Um, you can work with the CSS to uh, edit it on your own, um, and you can change a lot of the settings for, for example, the title. I want it to say something like example blog, save changes. Um, now, because this is educator uh, on the wordpress.com domain, you can see that it's just the URL to get to it is educator3.wordpress.com. If I wanna log in, I can use these meta links that are there automatically. I'm already logged in. If I was logged out, it would say log in because I'm logged in, it says log out. You click there, or you can type in slash wp-admin. And it gives you the login page or the uh, admin page. So that is uh, how to create a WordPress blog. Um, I recommend that you create one and uh, kind of work with it as we go through these tutorials and uh, add things and, and start playing with it. Thanks for watching educator.com.